What's up guys, Isaac from TAC2 here, bringing you another video. Today we're going to be looking at the Top 10 City of Tweaks, Part 2. So, let's get started. The first tweak we're going to be looking at is called NC Settings, and this is a little notification center tweak. So if I pull it down here, you can see I now have these little things right here. Um, you have your brightness, you have your volume, and whatever else stuff you uh, want to mess with. So, um, I mean, this is very useful. I think it's actually one of the best tweaks ever because it really is, it prevents a lot of hassles instead of going into your settings every time and stuff like that. You can just swipe down and then do all your stuff right here. Airplane mode, Bluetooth, whatever else. I think it's great. So, that is called NC Settings. The second tweak we're going to be looking at is called Simple Date for Notification Center. Now, um, this is not really a necessity, but I think it's really helpful. As you can see, I have the date right here in my Notification Center. Next tweak we're going to be looking at is called Speed for Maps. Now, what this tweak does is it adds a little uh, miles per hour or kilometers per hour next to your map when you're traveling. So if I type in speed for maps, this is an iPod touch so I can't really show you it, but hold on here, let it reload the data. But what it does is when you move with your uh, Google Maps working, it will give you your miles per hour and your speed and whatever else. So let me click on it here. And then I'll just scroll down to screenshots. Oh, where? Oh, right here. Okay, so you can see there's the little mile per hour sign right there next to the map. And so you need iPhone only, and it requires iOS 4 or later. All right, the fourth tweak we're going to be looking at is called Speed Intensifier. As you may have noticed, when I go in and out of apps, the uh, animation to open them up is a lot faster, like right there. Close it faster. What this is, is if I scroll down in my settings here, I can find speed intensifier. And what you can do is you can change how fast your things open and close. So default is just the uh, normal speed, and then the higher you get, the faster the uh, animation goes, and then the lower you get, the slower the animation goes. And then you need to respring your device after selecting one. That is called speed intensifier. The fifth tweak we're going to be looking at is called sub icons and the O in icons is a zero. So what this tweak does is it gives you basically your favorite apps. So if I double click on my power button or my home button at the bottom of my iPod or iPhone screen, you can see all these apps on the right side pop up. And what these are is preset apps to my favorite apps or my most used apps I guess and so instead of having to scroll throughout here and find them or if I'm in a different app I can just double click that and then they all open up to the right. Next week we're gonna be looking at is called Tab Plus and what this does is it allows you to have more than I believe it's it's seven pages right that's the max, yeah. It's either seven or nine, but as you can see, I'm going way past that. You can have as many pages as you want. Just keep going, and you can basically go on forever making your Safari pages. Great tweak. I know a lot of people run out of space with Safari because they don't have enough pages to open up. That is called Tab Plus. All right, so the seventh tweak we're going to be looking at is called Tweet Ampulus. And what this tweak does is it allows you to send tweets more than 140 characters, basically. So as you can see, I have 9 characters left to write, or the space that I have left. But if I keep typing, you can see it goes down to 3, 2, 1, 0, and then what the heck, I can keep typing. So, as you can see here, you can send out tweets that are more than 140 characters. So if I tweet it, there we go, here it is. Here's my tweet, you just click on the link, 
and boom, people can read your whole tweet just like that. Very simple, very easy. I think it's a great tweak for Twitter. All right, the next app we are going to be looking at is called Update Hider for iOS 5. And what this does is it hides all the updates for your apps, or in your app store at least. So if you go to Settings and Update Hider, oops, all right, so anyways, basically what you can do, I guess it's not going to open up right now for me, but if you go into your updates and you have an update, you can just swipe over on it, I believe, and click either Delete or Hide, and then it hides the update for that app, so you're not bothered by a stupid little notification on the App Store. That's called Update Hider for iOS 5, or whatever other, just Update Hider for all older versions. I think it's great. The next one we're going to be looking at is We Kill Background. This is a notification center tweak, and it's just right here. Tap to close all apps. Boom. So usually if you double tap your home button, you get all the the apps down here, your backgrounding apps. I don't have that anymore because you have this, and it just closes all the backgrounding apps like that. One tap, and boom, they're all gone. That's called We Kill Background. Alright, so the ninth tweak we're going to be looking at is called We Roll. So what this tweak does is it basically changes how you pull down your notification center. So if you go into your settings and then go to We Roll, you enable it and then let's say go to animation type and I want height stretch. Now when you pull it down, whoa, look at that. Look at how weird that was. Alright, so if I go to minimize, whoop, that's freaking sick. Windows switch. Whatever the heck you want, you can choose all those. That is called we roll, and I think it's a great tweak. Alright, the last one I'm going to be looking at is Zeppelin. And enable it here. And then all you have to do is just choose whatever little picture you want. And boom, it goes right up where your carrier is in front of your Wi-Fi. Right now I have the Nike symbol. I'm going to do... Oh, we'll leave it at that. Go to your springboard here, and you can still see it's right up there. That's awesome. That little tweak is called Zeppelin. Thanks for watching, guys. That was Top 10 City of Tweaks Part 2, and this is Isaac from TAC2 signing out.